You can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. Before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Okay. Oh no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Hey. Activate. Hey. They say I ain't saying because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need in that shit. They always in my business, but they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible, but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit, activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way? So Holy Spirit, you better do it, Lord. You better get them, Lord. <laughs> Before I get them, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. They better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. Before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Oh, no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Hey. Hey. They say I ain't saying because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need in that shit. They always in my business, but they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible, but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit, activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way? So Holy Spirit, you better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit, you better get them, Lord. <laughs> Before I get them, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. They better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. Before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Holy Spirit. Activate. Oh, no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Hey. Hey. They say I ain't saying because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need in that shit. They always in my business, but they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible, but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit, activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way? So Holy Spirit, you better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit, you better get them, Lord. <laughs> Before I get them, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. They better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. Before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Holy Spirit. Activate. Oh, no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Hey. Hey. They say I ain't saying because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need in that shit. They always in my business, but they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible, but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit, activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way? So Holy Spirit, you better do it, Lord. You better get them, Lord. <laughs> Before I get them, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. They better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. You better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit. Activate. Before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Holy Spirit. Activate. Oh, no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Hey. Activate. Hey. They say I ain't saying because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need in that shit. They always in my business, but they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible, but they ain't applying it. So Hi. Hello, everyone. I have to pull up a little piece of receipts. A little piece of receipts. A little piece of receipts. Shout out to Minky Thinky, my baby. Hey, six four grandness. Hey, boo. Oh my God, I love you too, girl. Um, I need to turn on the lights. It's like dark in here. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much, Miki and Fiki, for the um super sticky. You are so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that, girl. Um, thank you. So, y'all, Larry, a hive, read has been popped 
again. This just like keeps happening. Like, ugh. so we're gonna get right into that. Please hit the like. <clears throat> Please hit the like. Okay. Please let me get closer to my notes. Hit the like. Okay. Now, um, a shout out to Vincent Hill. Okay. Um, the Terrell Hill. Okay. Safe space. Um, is where it comes from. Hi, LaRon. Oh my god, I love you. Hey, LaRon. Shout out to Female Rap Elite. Y'all make sure you get a vet and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Oh my God, I love LeBron. Hi, LeBron. Um, I don't want him to think I was ignoring him because I love LeBron. So I just wanted to say hi. Hi, LeBron. So, um, y'all. Um, shout out to Safe Space with the Terrell Hill. Okay, I want to make sure I'm saying his channel correctly. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. I guess CJ Lopez, I seen that girl um, about Monique's son, but look at here. Okay, my alternator went out in my car today. Oh my God. I've had a crazy day. Okay, but it's already at the shop. Whatever. Okay, they just need to have it like fixed by tomorrow because it's like gross. Girl, I have to go triple A. All of that stuff. I was just like, oh my God, is this like because it was it was given like poor people problems. I was like, oh my god, am I poor? I was like, because like, why is this happening to me? I don't understand what's happening to me. So I thought it was my battery, because I'm just like, yeah, I probably need a battery because like whatever. So, but it wasn't. It was my alternator. I was like, oh my god, what is that? Here's my charge card. Like. Can you take care of that now? Like I had said, it's like AAA. I'm like, so you can take care of that, or you have one of those in the van, right? He was like, no. I was like, really? So I'm gonna have to like go beyond this? I'm gonna have to like make phone calls and stuff, right? He was like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. You don't even do that. Like you don't make calls. Can you call these people for me quick? Like, he was like, no, we don't do that. Leave. Leave. So we got it taken care of though. So, so annoying, but whatever. So I'm just like, you know what? Since my alternator went out, you know, let's talk about, you know, Larry Reed and his, you know, <laughs> heterosexual going out. Um, why not? So welcome back to my show, The Shine Everywhere Show. Please hit the like, please hit the like, please hit the like. So, um, after I listened to what Terrell, V. Terrell, um, Vincent, had to say, which he, um, let me pull him up. Let me pull him up and I'm a girl. Let me pull him up and I'm a girl. Um, here he is, okay? This is him and Lyra Ahav Reed and I'm a girl. Yes, this is them. It's very gross. So um, that is them. And he has worked for Larry for 15 years. And throughout those um, 15 years, throughout 13 of them, he was. So I'm um, here, Flip. So Vincent said in his video that a lot of us content creators, and I'm a girl, which he wasn't talking about me because. Trust me, <laughs> he wasn't talking about me. But he said that a lot of the content creators that were talking about, you know, the whole Larry Reed situation back in the day, especially with Levantre, um, and all of that, that um, we, because he said, you know, content creator. So I am a content creator. So I have to like, you know, but I don't feel like he was like directly talking to me. <laughs> but he, he like literally said it in the video. So I'm acknowledging it because he said it, <laughs> you know, because he's not talking to me, trust me. That's like, I mean. So he said that, you know, we were wasting a lot of time because, you know, a lot of us were kind of like sarcastic and, you know, doing just, you know, 
in, I guess, interviewing people that, you know, were like cloud chasing and a lot of them were like liars. And there was just a, like a, a lot of misinformation um, being spread around um, and whatnot. And so he said, we basically wasted a lot of time. You know, a lot of you guys, a lot of you content creators, you wasted a lot of time. Okay. Shame on you. Um, is what he had said. Now, I have found that confusing really confusing. And we're going to get into that later, but um, I really did find that confusing. And he also said that he was going to sit with um, a content creator, you know, pretty much one, he said one and done um, type of situation, but he wants one with, I guess, integrity, whatever that word means. So he said he wants one with integrity. So we all know that's not going to be me, right? Because I do have integrity, but I don't have time for bullshit. Um, I absolutely do not. All right. I, I, I don't have time for that. And why I say that is because of this. Okay. Boom. Now, again, the man, the the left bald man is, um, you know, the space uh, or sorry, safe space with um, the Terrell Hill. Right. And he's the one that's coming forward that has worked for Larry. I have read. If you don't know Larry, I have read. He is a bald male and he's been bald since about i don't know about seven since he's about seven years old um he was bald and he ended up having a church and with this church he brought in a lot of weird people all of those people do the letters of the ymca well all of them they're pros right at doing the ymca gay because that's pretty much what he had girl he had a bunch of gay actors inside of a church house and I'm my girl. In the process, he moved in families and all of this stuff. Real weird. Real weird. And was moving in families and blah, blah, blah. Um, among him moving in families, one of those families was um, Levantre. Levantre was a minor staying with Larry Reed. Not only him, his brother was staying with Larry Reed as well at the time. And I'm my girl. And um, <clears throat> Some inappropriate things allegedly happened between Levantre and Larry Reed while Levantre was under the age of 18. Absolutely, okay? Now, Larry Reed's church was extremely gay. It absolutely was. There was a bunch of lesbians that were married to a bunch of gays. Absolutely, Larry Ahio Reed being one of them. Absolutely. So he invited a whole bunch of people to come and stay at his house and, you know, and he got multiple properties and in the process of him getting multiple properties, he was gay at all of them. <laughs> so he got a bunch of properties and moved into a bunch of families who had striking young men to Lara I have read. Absolutely. He liked to parent the single mothers, the one that had children that he could be a father to in more ways than one. Like take your kids somewhere to a department store and whatnot and buy them underwear and have them try it on. So that's exactly what he did. Well, at least, I don't know, one of his accusers alleges. Not only that, this man, again, Vincent Terrell Hill, has came forward and said a lot of the allegations, the allegations, against Larry Reed had to have been true. Why? Because he did a lot of the same things these victims did as well, like walking around in a room in underwear, cleaning up a room in underwear, because Larry Reed is very so much a voyeur. But again, this is the same person, the Terrell Hill, that is telling us that we're wasting time, yet he was in Larry's inner circle for 15 years and could have let us know at least 13 years ago about what Larry was doing. Let me get something to drink. But we're wasting time. Okay, you wasted 13 years. You said that you were sexual with Larry for 13 years. You were in the video apologizing to his ex-wife. Because you were sleeping with her husband for 13 years. So like their whole marriage? Or like what? But we're wasting time. You said that you didn't know about what happened to Levantra until years later, meaning you knew. It's 2024, and you're just not saying something. 
So let's not talk about wasting time, girl. Let, let's not talk about because no one has wasted more than you. Okay. You also said in your video multiple times that the people are complicit, which you were one of those people, and uh, pretty much can't pray without a team. You know, that there's people that help him. Weren't you the executive assistant? But you didn't know anything. Yet you're sleeping with them. You didn't know nothing. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, you see how close you are to him. You see how close Levantre was to him. These allegations come out. And because you were sleeping with Larry, you didn't want to believe them. Not because they weren't true. Yeah. You were sleeping with them. So you chose sleeping with him over the allegations because you could have dug deeper. You chose not to. Because the same questions that you asked Levantre years later, if you would have asked him then, you would have got the same result. It wouldn't have changed. You chose to ignore it. That was a choice. So again, let's not talk about wasting time. Because literally you saying that you were wasting mine. I'm like, you're literally wasting our time right now. Like, so you can't tell, you know, no one, no one has wasted more time than you. You said that you were sleeping with Larry Reed for 13 years. You apologized to his wife and others, which again, someone trying to make it them, themselves seem that they're so educated on what's going on with like victims and whatnot. Why would you out people? If these people haven't spoken these things themselves, then it's best that you not say anything either. It's not for you to do. It's not. You out of the lot, you apologize to a lot of people. It doesn't forgive it because you're apologizing. And you're apologizing during the video, meaning you haven't spoken to them about this. Because those were first apologies. Not I, I apologize again, not none of that. No receipts on you apologizing to any of these people. You did it in a video. How rude. I commented underneath your video when I was watching the beginning of it, hearing it, stating that I wanted to interview you. I deleted my comment. The reason I deleted my comment is because I don't. I don't want to interview you. I wish you the best of luck here on YouTube and whatnot, but you cannot be a complicit party shaming people. That's weird. To put an unnecessary energy on us. You state that you believe Levant right now. What have you done to assist? Have you sent any of these recordings to the police? Have you contacted Levantre with this evidence, like in a summary, put it together for him so he can turn it in himself to see if maybe there's something that he could do, kind of right your wrong? Because just because you act as if you didn't know about what was going on with Levantre, it doesn't mean that you can't help. You right your wrong. That's what you do. You right your wrong. Regardless of you believing Levantre or not, it happened. So with it happening, why you know you don't feel a need to help him vindicate himself? Because you weren't complicit, right? You had no idea. Right. Okay, we'll help the brother out. See if there's a way you can help. Because that's why you're here, right? So, um, yeah, I would have to withdraw um, that. So, yeah, I don't want to interview you. Shout out to you and shout out to whoever's platform you go on. I'll take no issue with it. But, yeah, um, you had me at the beginning. And then, when, like, once it got closer to the end, I'm just like, who are you talking to? Because this is the type of conversation you should have been having with yourself. The content creators that are on YouTube talking about it, we only talk about what we know. We only talk about what we see and what we hear, right? Now, you got some people that make things up whatever i'm talking about the ones that go off of information they'll if they hear some information or you know get some and it's has some truth to it then they'll go forward with it right no one knew more than you you were in the inner circle we are not as content creators we're not in larry's inner circle i'm like who are you talking to conscious tv 
because he will be considered like part of Lakers, you know, team. Because he said he's, you know. So I'm like, are you talking to Conscious? Because you could just say his name. I'm like, other than that, like, who are you talking to? Like, Conscious and Lay have a relationship, like they're friends or whatever. That that's them, you know, and that's what they have going on. I'm like, who are you talking to? How would anybody else have known? And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that Conscious doesn't know. I'm sure he just knows what he's told. I mean, if that's just what it gives. He's not like literally like there. You know, you were for 13 years. Didn't you say you created Larry's show? <laughs> to stand there complicit for years and then to bring up like the pastors that he's exposed, you helped them. You have to. And like you're okay. I'm like, I guess to try to shame someone. I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm like, put a GPS on you on YouTube now. Put a GPS on it. Cause that doesn't make any sense. Cause you're making it seem like the content creators are in the know. We know exactly what's going on. We're present. No, we're not. So you're sitting here looking at these content creators, and probably including myself. Even people like Tasha K, you know, and whatnot. You looking at all of us like we own the wrong ish and doing this and exaggerating and exploiting it and, you know, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yet you have all the answers. So you're complicit. You're sitting there watching people go with a narrative that is incorrect because they have no idea. They're not in the know. They're doing a lot of assuming, guessing and that's not making stuff up. You're just going off what you have. But you got it all. And you say nothing. But we the problem? Okay. Interesting. Welcome to YouTube. So um, let's get into this. So he said that he knew, which is, let me pull up him again, because we have other pictures we're going to get into. I don't believe in using people's content. Um, I just take notes and yeah. So um, yeah, so this is him again, him and Larry, Vincent and Larry. Now he had been working for Larry from 2003 to 2018. So a total of 15 years. He was Larry's personal assistant to executive assistant, multiple um, titles he shared throughout the time of working with Larry. Now, 13 years of that relationship, he stated that he and Larry Reed had a sexual relationship, that they were having intercourse with each other the entire 13 years. Now, what really got me was the receipt of the recording of Larry saying this. Whoa. 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 Whoa, bro. Have you ever swallowed? Hallelujah. Larry. Larry. Oh, my goodness, Larry. Oh my goodness. Who taught you this? Him? Would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a Let time rest. of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you have you ever swallowed? Been... Let Would have been swallowed up have oh you my ever goodness. been swallowed up have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you have you ever swallowed Larry you said that your spirit was inside of him
Lever. <laughs> Not you got my baby, though. Not you got my dookie baby, though. Lever. Would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you? Y'all ain't gonna act like the good bishop wasn't up there, uh, 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 moved by. And I'm a girl. So Larry or gross. Larry or gross. So um. I was appalled. Do you understand me? <laughs> I was appalled. I was like, <gasps> gagging, girl. Gagging, girl. Larry, you popped. Larry, you popped. You could not be more popped than this. You are extremely gay. Okay? You are a power top, all right? A uh, 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 oral top. <laughs> you are a oral top. And I'm a girl. That's what that were. That's what that were, okay? You are an oral top, okay? And Vincent, I'm gonna make you, you need to make it seem like you ain't no power bottom. Don't put out a little piece. Um, uh, because what you say, what you say, yeah, daddy, what you say, mm, I see her, I'm gonna cut that recording off, let me find out, what you say, mm, I see her, I'm gonna cut it off, what you say, eh, yeah. what you say, eh, yeah. <laughs> What you say? Put it right there. Mm -hmm. Is that what she said? And then my girl. So I'm just like, mm, okay. Lever, have you ever slept with Vincent? Ah, hell. Ah, hell. Okay. Now I realize Lever of the Reed has went live today, uh, sitting over there talking about some, um, I, uh, uh, I think your sister's pretty, but uh, let's boy and boy it. Uh, now nah, I've, I've been, um, over here for years and, um, I done been me. I'm single. So, you know, if I want to suck at Ohio, I want to swallow a load Ohio. I want to sleep with your husband Ohio. Slip with the, uh, the, uh, uh deacon pulpit Ohio. Okay. That's what that word. That's what that word. He's a gay munch. He absolutely is. And I'm a girl. So it's not a problem that Larry sat over there talking to his ex on the phone. And I'm a girl. Over there talking to him on the phone. Talking to the, the whistleblower. <laughs> you blowing a little bit more than whistles. And I'm a girl. You're blowing a little bit more than whistles. And I'm a girl. Have you ever swallowed? <laughs> Hallelujah. Swallowed yeah. up. Have you ever been yeah. swallowed up? Yeah. Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? Y'all need to stop playing with the Lord. Y'all need to stop playing with the Lord. Because I'm over here very so much gay, but I ain't, uh, 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 I ain't got no flock. I ain't got no flock. Hallelujah. I ain't got no flock, and I'm a girl. Like, um, I absolutely do not. And not only do I not have a flock, Larry, look at here, you bald headed gay. Ooh, look at here, queer. Okay. Sitting here putting the church's money in on my girl. And then going home and telling whatever first man you see. Find it and it's yours. Now you still over there using the congregation money to pay for these milk. And that's the problem. That's why you ain't got no church. 
You too busy buying people fiancés and husbands and stuff. And I'm like, hurt. No, you don't pay all these people because you are ugly. You got to. Nobody coming over there busting it open for free. And you just a perv in the worst way. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know you look like a seal. Anybody coming out with you with you for free milk, duh. You try. Like, uh, uh-uh, no. Ain't nobody come out on that for the free. Where is the offering plate? Where the collection you took up today? You try. I'm like, you hold unattractive with these men. Why you act like they choosing? Why you act like them being here ain't no check connected to it? Like you're weird. You act like you getting them off your own merit because you're a good looking man. No. Hair flip. Attractive. The most attractive thing about you is your wallet. Them trailer charge you got over there. Miracle. You try. Nobody's checking for you. Because they be doing it for free. Nobody doing that for free. Who? Please. I come hang with you, but I got a prize. You tried it. Nobody hang with you for free. Like you out of your rabbit. I wish you would offer me. Say, I, you, you, it better be a, a dollar sign at the end of whatever you about to say in this damn sentence. No way in the world I'm coming over there for free. You tried. That's the only way. You have to do this. That That's what y'all do. Y'all get buy ice cream trucks and, <laughs> and candy stoles. And all of that. That's what you fitters do. You got to have something. Because you ain't enough. Stop acting like you, you're a Morse chestnut. And because because I'll be over there for free. Morris ain't got to offer me nothing but a bed. And I'm a girl. Lorraine Santa got off a number of bed. Hey, we do it on an air mattress. That's what that word. But you, uh, <clears throat> I'm in a bind. <laughs> I'm in a bind, mate. <laughs> I'm in a bind, mate. I'm in a bind. It's very so much what you give me. Girl, please. Cry. Sit over there a whole sissy. With some sunglasses on. But that line on people. Run around like you got churn. Your sperm would never. Because you're trying to act like you're attracted to women. Gross. You're not. How you look at women is being blindfolded. If you're blindfolded, you don't know who it is. You don't know what it is. It's like a person coming in a room, not speaking, and just touching you. Body, body to body is easy for anyone to become aroused. So stop it. Stop trying to make it seem like you literally want to do push-ups on top of women. You don't. Girl, please. God, please, you want to do push-ups, but in the boys' locker room. (laughs) Absolutely. And you've been buying men for so long, you're so gross. And that you would sit there and take those poor people's money. Like Vincent Hill said in this damn video. Talk about some, oh, it... (laughs) When the woman said that she sent her last you letter, why you ain't sent her a couple of dollars? Vincent. It couldn't have broke your heart. You allowed it. Mm-hmm. There's this woman on YouTube named Mama Francis. She got evicted. Okay. Because her daughter's trash. 
And um, she was standing next to a trash heap. Yeah, I literally got her out of there. I did something about it. You know, you could have too. She said she gave her last. And I'm a girl. <laughs> she said she gave her last. And I'm a girl. She absolutely did. Um, and you allowed it. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever swallowed? I have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... And I'm a girl. So, um, yay. So, so I just, I don't, I don't get that. I don't understand that. So he also said that um, throughout those 13 years of him sleeping with Larry, that Lisa was unaware. Lisa was unaware. You know, Vincent, <laughs> I don't have any beef with you, right? <clears throat> I don't have any beef with you, right? But it's bitches like you that make it hard out here for women like me. Yeah. Hmm. So you sitting here sleeping with this woman's husband in front of her, al allowing it, you know, and whatnot, allowing it, acting like, you ain't never swallow. Come in, the door's open. Up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... OMG, sorry. Company. So, um, yay. <laughs> yay. So, um, yeah, so you're literally like... Sleeping with this woman's husband. And then you feel like you can apologize. Like, that is so trash. And then it's like, you do it on live. Because it's not giving you talk to her and talk to her about this. So to me, that was trash. I'm like, how disrespectful. <laughs> like, I would have at least spoke to that woman in private and apologized to her privately. And then you know, have said something. So at least that that would have been taken care of. But to apologize to a woman for being a gay mister, not a mistress, mister, um, you know, in the relationship of somebody she was still married to, like no matter how they perceived it, no matter how Larry, I have re-perceived it, because, you know, he marries women and married women and had men around him like Shamarco that we're going to get into and others um, marry women to uphold an image, to uphold um, a reputation that isn't real. Again, it's not a problem that he's gay because he is gay. Let me read this gay. He is not bisexual. He is gay. Being bisexual, you would at least do for men what you would do for women. You housing men, putting them in places and whatnot so you can come and go and sleep with them. You know, you're not doing that with women. No, it's just men. So that means that you are gay. You're not hiding the fact that you are with men, but you are making sure that there's no side of it at the same time. Because he has like admitted to certain things um, before, but he makes it seem as if that was like his past. You know, that's something that he dabbled in. And I guess he prayed the gay away. Um, and that is completely not true. He has been using the church and the his supporters, the people that support his church for years, using their money to support gay relationships. Because that's what he does. He mentally puts himself in relationships with all of these men. And it's, it's, it's really sickening, like when you think about it, because it's like, what is wrong with you? Like, I can understand you doing it with maybe, like, one, even two. I'd be like, okay, I guess, just to have a variety um, or something different. But to be housing all of these people and using all of these funds that you could be using to actually help the community and whatnot and putting little to minimal towards the community and putting the, the rest of the money towards this lifestyle um, that you're living, taking these men on trips and vacations and all of this stuff, it's crazy to me. It's like, what is wrong with you? It's like you're walking around with your own 
entourage of gays and the majority of them, I don't feel like they're like gay. I think they like women, but being a pastor to someone, you're a different type of leader. So you take the information that they're giving you differently. You don't look at them as just like a man. You look at, at a pastor, some people, look at them as a little bit more. So when he's coercing them and manipulating them and gaslighting them into making decisions that they wouldn't normally make because their attraction is not to him. It's his attraction to them. He is choosing these men. They're not choosing him. They, they, they don't want him. They don't. They don't want him because if they wanted him, they would be like Vincent, basic. <laughs> All Vincent wanted him to do was. So um that that's pretty much all he wanted. So um you know but the but the, but the straight men, you know, they you got I need a crib, I need a car, I need money. I need all of it. I need all of it. But you know, leave it to Vincent. Vincent giving him companies and you know all in the background trying to make sure that his man, you know, make it to where he wanted to make it to because he felt like he was the only one. I Vincent You knew you wasn't the only one. You heard about Levantre. <laughs> Moving right along. So he said, um, which I cannot believe that he apologized. I mean, I get the apology for sleeping with that woman's husband, but gross. Um, and how it was done. I would not have done that like that. Um, that was disgusting. Um, he said, Lever came to his house after stopping payments. Um, okay, now, um, I guess Larry looks at him as a contractor um or something like that because he put that in his title or something um i could care less about what larry i have read has to say larry is a liar all larry does is lie that's why he always trips on his own words and all of that stuff because all he cares about is keeping those donations and stuff up so that he could keep providing this lifestyle he knows that there's going to be casualties in the process. Like he knows there are going to be people that come forward and say certain things because he's not upholding what he's promising these people. So <clears throat> he's promising them things financially, right? And having them do things sexually and he gets bored of them sexually, right? So once he's bored of them sexually, the commitment that he made to do certain things, it starts to dwindle. It starts to go away because he already has his sights on other people. He's already doing it with other people. Right. So then that's when the jealousies and all of that stuff comes in. But Larry likes that people are jealous of him. Right. Like Shamarka. He likes that Shamarka is um, jealous of him because it makes Larry feel wanted because he's ugly. Yes. Larry's very basic looking. Okay. Basic enough to be considered ugly. So um we we uh, it's unfortunate, but we, we gotta put you, you know, in that category. So you like that people argue over you because it makes you feel attractive, something you are not. That's why you like overcompensate with like clothes and all of that stuff. I can put on a Hanes t-shirt and I'm still gonna look better than you. Right. Because it's choosing, I promise you bad bitch so um yeah i ain't never had no problem getting no man i never had a problem getting no woman because i actually sleep with them like yeah you know, there's no woman that's dated me that's gonna tell you that we didn't sleep together larry because i'm bisexual absolutely absolutely you have to claim other kids because you weren't man enough to sleep with a woman yourself and procreate you weren't man enough to do that you had no intention because your woman was a beard upholding an image you know that's why you were barely around her you spent more time with levandre than you did with levandre than your own wife like you're gross 
So like literally letting him drive your car and all of that stuff, you are pathetic. Literally, you've always had to give things in order to receive love. Now, I understand that Libby Reed, he's spoken um, on his past trauma um, as a child. Now, I reached out to Libby Reed about a year or two ago about that because I was starting to hear about Levantre and all of this stuff. And I didn't know what was true and what was false. I, I had no idea. So I'm the type I'm going to do research, right? So that's what I did. I went and did research and, you know, heard some things, listened to Larry for a while. And um, I heard a lot of bullshit um, with Larry, right? So I reached out to him because he's a victim. I'm a victim, but I'm careful in who I talk to when um, I do bring up a trauma that has happened to me. And I feel like you are supposed to be careful with it because trauma bonding is dangerous, right? Because you can bond with someone that became an abuser. Mm -hmm. And that's not good for you. It's very triggering. And it's not a safe space um, for you to be in. So I reached out to Larry and I wanted to talk to him because I feel like we have things in common. Um, he talked about things that happened to him when he was a child with his family, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm like, well, hey, you know, maybe we can bond um, on that aspect, right? <clears throat> I reached out to him and I didn't like his response. His response gave, he was, it's like he already knew what I wanted. He already knew what I was going to say. So I feel like he already had a defense or what to say prepared. So he was ready to combat me instead of get to know me. So um, I didn't like it. And it also felt like I could sleep with you. I didn't like that either. I definitely like a chase, okay? Make me feel ugly, yeah? Because then I'm just gonna be like, oh my God, I'm hot. I'm hot, like, why not me, yeah? Um, so it was definitely giving like you would sleep with me, gross. So um, I was just like, yeah, mm -mm. I'm like, are you trying to like spit game right now? So I moved on. I didn't speak to him because he said that I could call him, that he wanted, I didn't say nothing about like talking to you on a, I'm like, ew. I'm like, I didn't say I want to talk to you on the phone. I want to talk to you right here, <laughs> right here on Instagram. Why we got to leave? Why we going upstairs? Mm -mm. So um, I'm just like, yeah, not gross. Like, um, no, right? So we didn't talk. We never spoke. He'll tell you the same thing. I didn't call him. I didn't want. So um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you're not about to like sweet talk me and stuff like that. Like you're not. I see like right through that. I wanted to like talk, you know, but whatever. So yeah, moving right along. Um, so the exposed when he came over and stopped by, he stopped by because um Tasha K was, shout out to Tasha K. She was exposing him on her Tasha K Live. That's why it says in the uh, title, Tasha K and Levantre were right. Um, Tasha K was popping him at the time um, on her app and she brought a parts of her segments over here to YouTube. Um, at that point in time, it's kind of like when Tasha and I kind of started to like bury the hatchet, if you will, because we were in agreement, but we were not mad just linking up. We absolutely was not. Um, I was giving commentary on what Tasha had said. Tasha appreciated me giving commentary on it. And why not? She came through. She gave us some receipts and it just kind of went from there. So um, when it came to um, that, I find it mighty weird and strategic that Vincent stated that he that Larry pulled up to his home um, and wanted to talk and pay him, promise him payment because of everything that was going on with LeVon Trey um, and Tasha K. So more so of what he said in the video also was as hush money. So I'm assuming he was saying that he was coming over to my home, Vincent saying that Larry was coming over to his home to settle the disagreement of the income that stopped because he already had enough to do with Levantre. He didn't need Vincent spilling the beans either. So it's like, I'm already doing damage control. I don't have time for you too, right? So um, anyways, Levantre had reached out to Vincent because, well, I think it was the other way around. Vincent had reached out to Levantre 
because Devontre was stating that he felt, what did he feel? That, um, oh yeah, that Vincent helped cover up what happened to him with Larry Reed. Now, Levantre stated multiple allegations um, about Larry Reed. Go check out Tasha K um, live.com if you want like all of the tea, but there's plenty of other people um, here on YouTube that have broken those things down as well. Shout out to the official King Payne um, and so many other people <clears throat> That I've broken uh, that broke these things now, um, as well over the years. So, um, yes, yeah, so shout out to them and my girl. So, um, shout out to my friend. Um, so yeah, that I don't blame Levantre. I think that it's weird that when Levantre did reach out to Vincent, that Vincent didn't do more. And when I say do more, you have all of these receipts of things, even he put up, um, Vincent put up receipts. Of because again, I don't want to make it seem like I'm beefing with Vincent. I'm not beefing with Vincent. I no shout out to him, you know, and whatnot. I just think it could have been done differently, you know, throwing people under the bus by saying their name and pu putting them in things to prove your point. I don't think it's okay. Like, I'm not going to agree with that. If I felt some type of way about Larry and I was one of those people that was around Larry. And there was some stuff that went down that I don't agree with or I feel like shouldn't happen. I mean, there was even a video put up of someone intoxicated and Larry standing there recording him while he's undressing and all of that. Like, I just don't feel like that's cool. Like, if these people aren't not okay with this, I don't think you should feel like, I mean, because you're literally like exposing them and their bodies, putting up pictures of um D, uh, of men not i mean i get a receipt i mean i get it you know i get having a receipt is having a receipt but not everything you have to prove some stuff sometimes you have enough like sometimes you have enough to where you don't even need to go above and beyond and i feel like you went like because I just don't feel like people that don't want to be implemented or aren't ready to say something or don't want to say something, it does not give Vincent the right to be able to do it because he feels like this has been going on for too long. Like, first of all, if 13 years, like you were sleeping with Leia for 13 years and are and is now deciding to say something because you stopped working for him in what, 2018? So you could have said something in 2018. You could have said something in 2019. You could have said something in 2020. You could have said something in 2021. You could have said something in 2020. Like you chose not to. So to come forward and feel like you get to push people to like, who the f do you think you are? Like to me, that's not cool. I'm not going to agree with that. It's not okay. It's not okay because people hate Larry Reed. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't care for Larry Reed. I don't like him, but include you include you because you're calling a person a monster you assisted you're calling a person a monster that you worked with for 13 or 15 years you're calling a person a monster that you said that you were partially responsible for damage control meaning covering up things so when levantre said that he feels like you were a part of covering up what happened to him because you sat around extremely complicit and just allowed it why would he not feel that way why wouldn't he and then you come for like, I didn't know about Levantre. Yes, you did. When you heard that it happened, you did nothing. Larry told you a vague story and you just ran with it because of what you were getting out of the situation within that time. So when you say you're not an angel, elaborate. Don't be willing to throw Larry and everybody else up under the bus and try to make it look like I'm the vindicator. I'm the whistleblower. You were complicit. It's like somebody from R. Kelly's camp coming forward and popping them. You were there. You hearing about R. Kelly being with younger women is enough to make you want to try to vet certain things and get your own information. You could have spoke to Levantre. In R. Kelly's case, it's plenty of women I wasn't even around anymore and things like that. But you could have spoke to Levantre at any point in time and got his side of the story. Being a man of the cloth, you're telling people to clean their houses and get your house together. No, no, get yours together. Like, get your house together. Because you you all up in everybody else's crib. And Levantre crib and Larry crib and Lisa crib. And, and you all and all these other people getting yours. 
Okay, you were around for 13 years or 15 years and slept with them for 13 of them. You say Shamarco's the worst and all of that stuff. You mean the person that you that you were letting fondle you, the one that you went to, you know, a religious man's house and y'all disrobed and whatnot in front of you? You're talking about that guy? He had a fantasy of y'all having like a five sum or whatever. You didn't sound like you were against it. I get you. It's not like more so you were just waiting for him to set it up. So you were getting as much out of the situation as Larry. You just got it for free. You're not a saint because you didn't touch Levandre. You knew about it. You chose to do nothing. You were complicit because what you were getting out of it. Absolutely. Shamarco, this is Shamarco. This is Shamarco, girl. Shamarco is allegedly Larry's best friend. <clears throat> but Vincent said that Larry and Shamarco have been boyfriends even since before him. He said that Larry moved him in once he moved um, Shamarco out. Shamarco moved into his own apartment because he was married to a whole woman. Um, and... Uh, He moved him in right after. So while Vincent was over there undressing with Shamarco and all of that stuff, you knew he was married. Like, you knew that. I'm like, why? I mean, and you can't blame it on being young. That has nothing to do with it. Because if you did it, then you do it now. So, I mean, that's crazy to me. Like, Blowing whistles because you're not getting what you want. Like, okay, whatever. Because there's always people that say that they don't want anything but want something. They do. They they always have like an undertone to um what they are, you know, saying. So that's I'm just like, oh, please. Like, yeah, to me, that's trash. Um, to be doing all of the like you hurt a lot of people. You did a lot of breath. You thought what was real, what was fake, because again, rumor has it that everybody's at Larry's church was pretty much gay. All of the women were lesbians and were dating each other, and the men were all gay. They would go on these Bible retreats and you know and stuff like that, and then they would all just sleep with each other. Or Larry would have his uh, you know his pickings um, of the men. He would um, definitely intrigue them by offering them things and giving them certain things and doing certain things for them so they would kind of feel indebted. <clears throat> so they could, they're kind of like, well, if all I got to do is give you my body, is let you do certain things to me and we're going to be good, then all right, cool. All right, cool. But as much as Larry is a narcissist, Larry is also a control freak. So he wants to, you know, continuously control these people and what vincent doesn't get is vincent he was not attracted to you at all um <clears throat> the reason larry kept you around is because you gave good head not only did you give because you got that mouth not only did you give good head you do you do a little piece got that mouth um not only did you give good head you also let him And so that's why he kept you around. Um, and you had a, you had secrets. You were essential. So he needed you beyond those reasons. But, you know, nights that he was bored and he wanted to hold a poke um, or warm mouth, you would be present. That's why he never wanted you. That's why you feel abandoned. You do, because you said that you thought that you were the only one. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. The reason you probably felt like you were the only one is because he probably banged you a lot, like at that point in time, because, it, you know, you, you were easier. You're easy. Shamarco took you to that house and you guys undressed and all, you're easy. I mean, I don't call you a slut, but I mean... <laughs> 
the condom fits. You're easy. Yeah. And available. Absolutely. The other ones are like in a relationship with women and all of that stuff. You're gay. You were always there for the taking. You want married to no woman? You were always there for the taking. So the other ones, you know, he had to find ways. That's why he would go on the retreats and vacations and stuff with them. Because that's how he would, you know, be able to, you know, kind of hone in on them. You know, that's why he recording them, taking off their clothes and all of that stuff. <clears throat> After taking them out to eat, getting them drunk, you know, um, and all of that stuff. Absolutely. Um, with you, you were just like a mouth in a hole. That's what it gives. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you were essential because you had ideas, you know, like the Larry Reed live channel on YouTube, so, you know, stuff like, like you were essential, like you were useful um, on top of that. Absolutely. Not only can you, you know, get some good lighting and put the camera up and all of that stuff, you can deep throat, you know, you don't have a gag reflex, you know, you got to squirt all up in you. You know, and all eight. And so, um, yeah, with the other guys, can you know, I'm sure some of them, but the majority, he couldn't do all that with them. And I'm a girl. So, um, yeah, so like, yeah, you're easy, literally. And honestly, like, out of all of the men, I don't... here is Lester. And the, shout out to the official King Payne. The official King Payne put up Lester and have been talking to Lester and Lester have been exposing Libby Reed um, on King Payne's um, the receipt book and over here on YouTube, the Lituation Network and the official King Payne um, on his YouTube channel. So he had been talking to him. He also brought up him. Um, so here's Lester. Now, if you can look at him, look at what he looks like. Okay. Shamarco. Okay. Nice looking, muscular, decent looking guy. Same thing with Lester, decent looking guy, muscular, all of that stuff. And then you got Vincent. See, Vincent, you were in it for free. You were in it because you actually have feelings for Larry. Okay? See, men that look like them, he had to pay for. You are the easy one. He didn't have to pay you to do the stuff that he paid them to do. You did it for free. You see what I'm saying? You did it for free. He didn't have to pay you. That's why he tried to keep you close. Because you free. That's why he stopped your payment. But he didn't stop theirs. Lester's still living at apartment. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You are a whore. Um, here, Flip. That's what that gives. So, um, because you were completely down to sleep with Shamarco. It gives the reason it didn't happen because Shamarco didn't want you. You said Shamarco was using you for information. You were absolutely correct. When Shamarco had you undress, if he wanted to do something with you, he would have. He chose not to because he never wanted you. You wanted him. Absolutely. You were attracted to Shamarco. Shamarco was a better looking Larry Reed. And you were attracted to Larry Reed. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to, you actually wanted to be with that mosquito. You actually wanted to be with him. Mm -hmm. That gnat. You wanted to be together, girl. Like, you, you, yeah, girl. So you didn't mind his wife and all of that stuff because you felt like male-wise you were the only one. And then you find out that you weren't. And not only are you not the only one, this guy looks better than you. So it's just like, what the, right? So what Shamarco didn't realize at that point in time, you keep saying, and Larry kept saying that, you know, Marco, you know, you know how you feel about you. And, you know, Marco didn't necessarily care for you and whatnot. Okay. If Marco didn't care about you, then why were you two undressing in front of each other? If he didn't like you. <clears throat> why was Shamarco... Um, you said FaceTiming you and um, and other stuff, nudes that you guys sent to each other. If he didn't like you, why would he do all that, girl? 
Why would he invite you somewhere if he's got sick clothes on, girl? Yeah. He did that because, like you said, all he wanted was information. All he wanted was information. Okay. He wanted information on Larry because Larry owes him and Larry owes him big and he'll be damned if anybody gets their payments and stuff before him. He needs to be the first priority. Okay. He didn't want nothing to do with you at all whatsoever. It shows, like you said, y'all never did anything sexual with each other. You said there was times that he would fondle you um, and things like that. Now, fondling is more so un. Yeah, I guess something that you don't want, but it's very so much given that you did want it because you were attracted to Shamarco. Again, why would you go in front of him and undress if you didn't want more to happen? You did. He didn't. The reason why is because he already knew you were, he, he didn't want you at all whatsoever. He would say certain things, honestly, to get you in trouble. Period. He would just go back and tell Larry, like, oh, yeah, he was trying to get with me and these people. He was trying to get all of us together and whatnot. And, you know, this and this and this and that. And, you know, he was asking me for pictures of nudes. And he's just doing that, throw you under the bus so that he could make sure that he was still numero a number one. So that's why you say that. That it gives that. It gives you say that Shamarco was only trying to get information from you because he just wanted to see what was up with Larry. That makes complete sense. That, um, yeah, because if he wanted something to happen, things will happen with him and Larry. Why would they not be happening with you two? Right. So, um, yeah, it very so much gives jealousy. Um, <clears throat> very so much um, gives that. And, and not you being jealous of Larry. It, no, 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 no. You wanted Shamarco. You still do. <laughs> like, low-key. Um, Shamarco definitely sounds like the one that got away. Um, yes, yes, definitely seems like the one that got away. Now, he says that he was going to be putting up receipts um, and calling out more people, calling out more names, which he called out a lot of names. He also said that people like um, Bishop T.D. Jakes, Bishop Jordan, um, and others... But what did he say? Oh, yeah. He said that they um, need to remove themselves from Larry. If they don't remove <clears throat> themselves from Larry, then, you know, they're pretty much false prophets. <laughs> um, if you will. Excuse me? Excuse me? What are you? See, Bishop Jordan may not know what's going on. He may not know because he's not like in the like the literal inner circle. Okay, he deals with Larry, but the same thing with Mana Nanaseas. Who knows if they know the ins and outs of what's going on? Because you don't see Bishop Jordan in Mana Nanaseas on none of these creepy vacations that Larry goes on with these men. You don't see them. So it doesn't mean that they're like in the know. It doesn't mean that they know every single thing that's going on. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. So, um, and since it doesn't mean that, <laughs> since it doesn't mean that, it's just like, you can't like force people away from this individual because you finally seen the light. Um, yeah, it doesn't work around. Well. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that's trash. Like, wh why are you coming for other people? Just say what you have to say about you being complicit for years, sleeping with this person for years, even while he was married. Uh, um, our other women, uh, other women's husbands undressing and FaceTiming with other women's husbands, you know, um, and all of this stuff. It's like, worry about you. Like, let's not worry about other people. Let, let's keep you the focus, girl, um, because you're part of the problem. You know, you, you don't get to remove yourself from the problem by blowing a whistle. You know, in order to get the whistle, you got to be present. See, I can't be a whistleblower for Larry because I don't, I, I'm not around him. I, I don't have any dealings with him. Okay. I'm not a part of his congregation. I'm not a part of his team. I'm not a part of any of that stuff. I, I don't have any answers for these people besides what's public knowledge. 
but you are completely different. So to come forward and expose someone or expose information about someone and then try to force the hand of other people because you've shown receipts is weird. That's weird. No, just put this information out here and just, you know, let people do what they will with it because that's all you can do. Like you can't force people to view your point because you see what I've dropped. I've seen a lot of inappropriate things. Um, uh, in that video, there was a lot of things that I feel like should not have been shown. None of those men's bodies should have been shown. Um, the, I really feel like the wives should have been left out of it. <clears throat> I really do. I just feel like they should have just been left out of it. Did like a separate apology video or something like that. Um, I wouldn't have even acknowledged it just because especially if I haven't talked to the wives personally. Um, there were, because it's not just Larry's wife, Shamarco's wife, all, all of them, like anybody that was married especially, needs an apology and deserves an apology, but not like a public one. I mean, I feel like it should be done in private before public, not the other way around. I'm going to publicly apologize and then come to you privately. But like, it's still humiliating this is, information will go viral, and you knew it would go viral. You helped Larry Reed set up his channel, so you know what to do. You know how to tap into the algorithms and all of that, so this is nothing new to you. Nothing new. Nothing. Nothing. You are doing this deliberately. Everything about this is deliberate, and I'm okay with it. I just feel like stand in it. Um, let's not remove accountability, but want people to take it. That's weird. Do not remove accountability from something you were complicit with. And acknowledging it does not mean that you are being accountable for it because it should have been done in a different manner. Um, apologizing to Lisa, and which is Larry Reed's ex-wife, um, and then like pausing after like the dramatic pause, bullshit. I call bullshit. You are not sorry. You're not. You're sorry about, like you said, the woman was going around taking his phones, all of that stuff, because she knew he was cheating, but he kept making her feel like she was crazy. You knew she wasn't crazy. You knew she wasn't. You knew something was going on. So it's literally like stealing somebody money or stealing something that belongs to somebody and watching them look for it. Knowing you got it the whole time. Knowing you got it. You even helping them look for it. You know, type of situation. Like, that is crazy. And, like, mad disrespectful. Like, that that is a hell of a betrayal for you to try to, like, sweep over. And then you try to manipulate the situation as if you are apologetic by the dramatic pause. You're not sorry. You did it for 13 fucking years. You're not sorry. <clears throat> Like, how old are you? Stop acting like you were 18 years old getting with Larry Reed. 20 years old. Look at you weren't. Like, stop it. It's, it's giving you removing accountability. No, just be accountable for it. You know you dirtiest for sleeping with that woman's husband and befriending her in the process. Like, you're dirty. That That's dirty. That's dirty. Dirty. I, it, it, uh, cause it would even, if I was in a situation like that, I'm the type of person, I couldn't even like be around the wife. I don't want to meet her. I don't want to see her. I want her to stay like a figment of my imagination. I'm not about to befriend this woman doing what I'm like. That's dirty. You sit there, have a conversation with her and leave her and then go for her husband. You doing this stuff in her home, the home that they share with one another. 13 years. And then you say something publicly before you say something privately and then apologize. You're not sorry. Because a sorry person wouldn't do that. If I was extremely apologetic, mm -mm. and since she hear me out, not saying anything like about this publicly because it could be humiliating for her. Or do, do you did you know she wanted to be humiliated or not? Like, I mean, I know she know what's up, but still it's like at the same time. Like, 
this is a, a wound that's about to be peeled, you know, all over. I mean, you know, a, a scab that's about to be peeled all over again. You know, who's to say that she want to keep going through this? Like, you've already disrespected her enough by fucking her husband. Faith. Now you want to broadcast it on a, like, I'm like, wow, how dirty. I'm like, hey, you know, just dirty, right? You know what you're doing is awful. Hair flip. Like, I, it's, that's awful. So shout out to Lisa. Poor woman. Poor, poor thing. I'm like, oh, wow. And then the, the type of stuff you got him on record saying, and this is supposed to be the person that's like the father to her children. So she was saying, he was saying all this to you while he was married to her. Trash. Trash. Straight trash. But I'm not against him popping Larry. That, that is what it is. He has the right to tell his story and the right to tell his experience. I just think that there's a certain way of it being done. There's a certain etiquette if you're going to come forward and let everybody know how you were um, a slithering snake. You can't say Shamarco is just as bad as Larry. What are you? Because you're blowing the whistle. So if Shamarco would have blown the whistle before you, would he have been just as bad? I'm confused by that. So if Shamarco would have blown the whistle before you, would you have been the evil party? <clears throat> so you saying this about Shamarco, I'm just supposed to believe it? Because he's been around a few more years longer than you. You say that you had nothing to do with Levantre and that you didn't help cover anything up. Yet when you found out, you did nothing. You had a vague conversation with Larry. You knew Larry was a liar because you said that you thought that you were the only one. So then you have another male coming forward. Okay. After knowingly, knowingly undressing with this person, um, knowingly undressing with this person and whatnot. But he's evil. He's worse than Larry. He knew about Levantre just like you did. He didn't do nothing, neither did you. You listened to Larry, so did he. What, what, what? I don't understand what you're saying that makes him so horrible because he wanted to have five sons and stuff like that. You did too. You didn't say you were against it. It just didn't happen. So I don't, I don't understand because you can't say that Shamarco was covering up what happened to Levantre if he believed Larry over Levantre. You did too. So I'm I'm really confused by that and what makes Shamarco so evil and you so, you know, like you're turning over a new leaf. I don't get that. I don't understand. Help me help you. Help me help you. Because um, a lot of the stuff that you explained about Shamarco, you were down with. The only thing you weren't down with is what it gives is having a wife. Because you're like super gay. So um, you just weren't down with having a wife. That's it. You weren't down with having a wife. But everything else that Shamarco did, you did too. I mean, Shamarco didn't do nothing to Levantre. Levantre never said Shamarco like did anything to him um, or anything like that. So what make I, I I'm just so like stumped by that. I'm like, what makes y'all so different? <laughs> what make y'all so different? Because again, 13 years and you worked for him for 15. Yeah. 
crazy. And then he says that he knows Levantra is telling the truth because a lot of the things that Levantra explained are the things that he did for Larry as well. Again, when you first heard about what happened to Levantre, you did not go to him. You didn't say a word to him because you believed the Larry, because you had spoke with Larry about it, even recorded it. So you spoke to Larry about it. So that means you knew. You didn't do anything to vet. You, you, didn't, you didn't do anything to do any of that stuff. You just let it be because, again, you believe Larry. So if Shamarco does the same thing, what makes you any different? Because if you would have asked Levantre at that time what happened and Levantre would explain to you what happened, then you would have realized at that time that Levantre was telling the truth because what Levantre explained would have been your experience as well but you chose not to. You wanted to believe Larry because you were complicit. No way in the world somebody coming around me telling me about somebody around me doing something with minors and I not figure out what the f is going on. And you could have reached out to Levantre at any time. It's not like there was a block. You couldn't get a hold of them. That, no, you chose not to because you wanted to believe your man. Since you was in him, you believed him. Complicit. Complicit. It's not you believe him because he told you fact. It's not you believe him because he proved it. You just simply believed him because you were sleeping with him. End of story. You didn't want to believe that he did anything like that because then that would mean that it's a possibility of him being taken away from you. And you didn't want that. Because you thought you were the only one. Couple of Girl, please. Then he outs Lester. Now, shout out to Lester. Uh, well, he's been on the Fish King Payne's platform multiple times. Um, they've spoken and whatnot. So, so now with Lester, he's pretty much Vincent is pretty much concurring with everything that Lester has already said on the Fish King Payne's. So it's not anything new to me um, about Larry Reed. Um, paying for Lester to have an apartment in Miami, Florida, um, or in that area. Um, him also having him get helping him get a green card by him marrying um Larry Reed's cousin. What is her name? Like Latrice, Patrice, um, something like that. Uh, marrying her so that um he can stay here and whatnot, so that Larry could keep sleeping with him. Literally helping him get a green card so that Larry could Sleep one. And that is, sorry, let me pull that up. That is this man right here. That is Lester. And Larry Reed um, allegedly got his cousin, I believe, what is her name, Latrice or Patrice, to marry him, which we found this information out on the Fish King Payne originally, um, to marry him so that he could, you know, continue to be Larry's concubine. Um, if you will. So he's been, because he still sleeps with women and is like with women and whatnot. Um, he got into an altercation with um, a woman that he was with because she found out, so uh, mind you, he married to Larry's cousin, but he's dating a woman, but sleeping with Larry. So he's married to Larry's cousin, but he's sleeping with another girl in Miami and also sleeping with Larry. <clears throat> True story. <laughs> True story. So on the Fish King Pains, we found out that he had to sleep, um, which let me pull him back up so y'all know who I'm talking about. Lester had to sleep with his girlfriend that night and go like, hard because he wanted to prove to her that he wasn't gay because Larry had, um, well, she had found the text messages between him and Larry. So he was exposed. His girlfriend, the girl that he was sleeping with, found out that he was gay because he was, um, the, the message correspondence between him and Larry Reed. So to prove that he, you know, liked the, 
he, you know, have to like super put it down um, to keep her because she was leaving because she's like, okay, you know, you're gay. You know, there's no reason for me um, to be here again. This is all on the official King Pain. So go and check him out. Um, all of he has all over seats. You literally hear Lester um, say all of this stuff um, about Larry, about how Larry is a top. Um, Lester power bottoms. He does. He power bottoms for coin. Um, he said that Larry be coming in there. I'm in a bind, Nate and him. That you know, Larry coming in, get on top of him, or <clears throat> Larry be coming in there, hitting it in the back. Uh, hit it from the back, and when he do come hit it from the back, he always, always makes sure he Guerrero, Guerrero. Guerrero. So, um, yeah, so he, um, his girlfriend ended up attacking him pretty much when she found out about like him and Larry. Right. So he went to jail for domestic, but he didn't like hurt her or anything. Um, and that's true. He did not put his hands on her. She was more so putting like her hands on him and they were arguing. It was loud. Um, the police came and they ended up um, arresting him. <clears throat> so when he got out, cause he got right out. Um, but when he tried to contact Larry, Larry wasn't like trying to help him, you know, um, or anything like that. And I'm a girl. Larry was not trying to help his man. His other man got out of jail. So um, when he had got out, girl, that's when he had slept with his girlfriend. I like to have to prove to her, um, you know, like, look, I'm straight. Look, I'm about to the dog shit out of you. So watch. You mean. So, um, but yeah, that's why he had to end up doing all that, you know, because of Larry. To prove that, you know, I'm not gay. I am not gay, girl. I am not me. That's not me. Because there's also video footage. <clears throat> she allegedly saw text messages and video footage of Larry Reed and her man. And allegedly, Larry was hitting it from the back. Something like that. But Larry was in him. And I'm a girl. Allegedly. Um, and that's why she got like angry. Cause it's just like it's like it's on tape. Like you're gay. So when he got out, you know, he had a lot of, you know, baby will cry for you. So um and I'm a girl. <clears throat> so he had to prove his, you know, manhood. You know, by sleeping with her. Yes, he was bottom in Giselle, girl. He was the bottom. Larry is a top. Larry is a, you need proof? Look, only tops say this. Mm -hmm. Vincent is very so much giving bottom. Very so much. Very so much giving bottom. Yes, only tops say this, girl. Mm -hmm. Girl, only tops say that. So, um, gays, Larry is a power top, an oral power top. And, um, gays, gays, and he be getting on top of all of these people. He be getting on top of him. He be getting on top of him, a Shamarco. He be getting on top of Shamarco. Shamarco do not be getting on top of Larry. Larry is not a bottom. Larry is a top. And Larry also be getting on top of him, on top of Les, the girl. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's the top. Mm -hmm. He's a top girl. Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to because I don't want this video to get too long. It's already an hour and a half. Um, shout out to Natalie and Minograd for the super sticker. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Um, hold on, let me check. Let me check. Shout out to Pam. Thank you. Sorry, I got a text message. Shout out to Pam. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for the Apple Pay. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I love you. Thank you so much, Pam. I love you. Um, I love you, Pam. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, I'm going to get out of here. But I will be back. This is just the beginning. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Please like the video on the replay. I will come back with more and break this down more.
I will bring all of the parties and break this down a little bit more because why not? We're still going to get into Monique, but we're still going to get into this too. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. Oh, not Sean. Show the pictures again. <laughs> I will when we're live again. And we'll be live again tomorrow. Labor, this is just the beginning. Labor, this is just the beginning. We're about to pop you. Shout out to the Fisher King Payne. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next show.